Right age back people. Got a bad thermostat here. Uh, <clears throat> see the screen is blank. This is the extra unit right here. I can feel the return air. So the unit is on. Oh, it's cooling. It's just calling for it at the actual unit on the board. But this display is blank. So we're gonna replace this thermostat. Uh, and this thermostat come with batteries. Um, <clears throat> well, you got an option to put batteries in here. But since we use the red and the common, uh, it'll light up the display. So I wonder if I put batteries in here, uh, would it work? I haven't tried that, but uh, uh, I, I think even if I put batteries in here, the display probably won't light up. I'm gonna show you how I check the thermostat. Um, this is my red and this is my common. I just go there and check for 24 volts, which I do have 24 volts. So that display should be lit up. Um, the, the check and see if I, it's calling for cool or heat or second stage cool. I usually go from uh, my red to Y1 and I got zero volts. So I know it's calling for cool. Some people go from common to Y1 to get 24 volts and that's how they, that's how they uh, can tell if it's calling for it or not. I always go from red to say Y1. If I'm getting zero, I know that uh, it's calling for cool. Let's say if I go to Y2 right here, I'm getting zero. So I know that uh, it's calling for second stage cooling. If I go from the G to R, I get zero. I know it's calling for it. The W is the heat. I'm getting 26 volts. So I know that it's not calling for the heater to come on. So that's how I do it. Like some people go from uh, C to W, they get zero. Uh, they know it's not calling for it. Like I say, you go from common to Y2. Uh, be calling for let me see go from common. I had to look at the unit on Y2. Showing that it's calling for showing that it is calling for from R1 but I'm still getting uh zero from common to Y2. So it might be something going on on there I need to investigate. Um but anyway, I got the new thermostat. I think this is the same. It's a Honeywell 6000. I think this is the same exact one. If so, I'm gonna continue to use this name plate on here. So we know we got good return there. That's stuck right to it. Look like the same to me. I'm not sure though. Want to let's see if it works. Yep. So it does work. I'll stick some batteries in here and see if the display will work. Just to be doing some. Plus. Plus. Yeah, it works with the battery. But it, but it don't work with uh So I'm gonna set the clock. I think it's about 11, 11.13.
I done said uh, many, many of these, but I don't remember exactly how to do it. So I'm just gonna go to done though. I'm not gonna set a uh, um, schedule. So the system says heat. I'm gonna turn it off, see if it turns off. turn it off and I'm going to go up to the extra unit if it's not raining out there I'm go to the extra unit and see what it's doing I think that thermostat is the only thing controlling I think this is the unit right here. Really not sure. Filter door. Man, look at all filters. You're gonna need some maintenance.
all right. <clears throat> well, I buttoned the unit back up. The unit is turning off. Uh, I had to get a phone call, but I found out that it's hooked up to this humidity switch also. Uh, so if I turn this off, the unit does shut off. As you, you can see, I'll fit turn it back to uh, 50, 50%. Unit turns on, and I think that's just a fan only. But I'm not sure. But if I turn it to cool, drop the set point, the compressors will kick in. Like I said, I don't know exactly how this wire right here, but when it stops flashing, there must be a delay on it. this stop flashing I'm gonna turn this to off and see where the uh it just clicks so the cooling is on now I want to see if the thermostat overrides this humidity switch so it's still calling for it I'm just gonna turn this yeah see I got it on off and it's still on so the thermostat is in control so I'm gonna turn it back to 50 that's a wrap. All right, spec people. All right, real quick also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this to off. You see the unit is still on. But also, I'm, I'm just gonna test it right here. To turn the, the unit off at the thermostat. You see the unit did turn off. Turn it back on. But it'll kick on, still got a little delay on it. It's taking instruction man, uh, manual. Somewhere in there you can take that delay out. I think it's like a one, two, three, four, five minute option delay. Uh, but we gonna let that go.